At CBF, we know that for you to change your body, you need to change your mind. Exercise and eating healthy is only part of the plan. We care about our members as we care about our family because our members become our family. It is not about competition, but support. It is not about being the strongest or the fastest, but about you defeating your negative self. It is about working together and making the task challenging and have fun. By the end, what matters is not how hard the session was, but that you take control of your mind so you can take control of your body. My name is Sandro Torres, and I'm happy you are part of our family. Welcome to Custom Body Fitness. Welcome everybody, my name is Sandro Torres. I'm the founder of Custom Body Fitness here in the Roaring Fort Valley in Colorado. I have helped a lot of people lose weight. I've been doing this for 20 years and you can see a lot of the videos I have made back in the past. If you're new to, to this channel, if you're new, new to this podcast, I talk a lot about weight loss, but I don't focus only on exercise and your health. I do take into consideration your state of mind, your psychology. It's very important for you to understand that because once you change that, once you change your, your state of mind, it's easy for you to lose weight. So that's the reason why I love to help people in that area. I also help them with, with diets and helping with the exercise, but most likely that's the easy part. The most difficult thing is help people understand the need to change their psychology before they make good life long changes. So today, we're going to be talking about you progressing in life and continue losing weight. I know that life is not only about weight loss. It's not only about being fit. This video is for people who have a life out there besides the gym. You have a family, you have a job, you have you, um, your parents that you may take care of, your kids, your husband, your wife, you have your hobbies, if you play the guitar, if you like cars, if you like to do your nails, if you like to gardening, whatever you like to do, you also need time for that. You need time for, for have a connection with God. You need time for a lot of things. So this video is going to be focusing on you progressing in those areas and continue losing weight. So let me begin by telling you a little bit about me. I usually do that in, in, in some of my videos because I want you to understand that I'm also a human being like you and I have a life and I also uh, have struggles, but I managed to get over those struggles and continue being fed. And it's very simple. And this is what I want to share with you. I want to share those tools that have worked for me. So let me tell you that back in the past, I was, I was lost and I didn't know, I didn't know how to set goals. I was, when I was around 19 years of age, that's when I started exercising. I started getting in shape, but I wasn't, but I was unhealthy. And the reason why I wasn't healthy is because I was eating young food. I had no goals, like I mentioned. Uh, I was financially broke. I had no family. I, uh, my connection with God was horrible. I was a completely mess until an event changed my life. That's when I decided to, to take responsibility, responsibility of my life. And I apply a lot of things and that's what I'm teaching you. So one of the things that really helped me is understanding that in the place that I was. So it's very important. That's the first thing I want you to understand is that it's okay where you are. What is not okay is to accept that is to actually get out of there and become a better person. So if you're suffering in some of the areas or the things that I'm going to mention in a minute, it's okay for you to be there, but think that you have the option to get out of there. So one of the things that I learned is that I needed to set up goals. And a lot of people know about, set, about goal setting. They know they need to be specific. They know they have to have a time limit. They know they have to be realistic and all those 
acronyms and things that people memorize to do goal setting. But I'm not going to talk about that specifically. I'm going to talk about something that I learned. So think about you setting goals. But let's jump. How are you going to do that? Let's jump to the other to the other thing that I'm going to show you so you can put both together and then make sense to you. First of all, you have to define your life in different areas of your life. For example, let's say you, you're, you are in a spiritual being. Let's not say that. You are a spiritual being. So therefore, you need a connection with God. If you want to feel in peace, if you want to feel, if you want the, the fears to go away, if you want to find your purpose, if you want to be full in your heart, you need to have a connection with God. And before I was, I was one of the things that I was missing is that I feel empty in my heart. It was something missing. And I didn't know what was missing until I found out that I was here to serve people and I, and I give my life to God. That's when that emptiness went away. So I, I understand that you need a connection with God. So I'm going to tell you how I divide my life and hopefully you can divide it the same way or find a way that you want to divide it. But I know that I needed to have time to connect with God. The other thing is I knew that I, that I need, um, I needed time with my family back then. It was only my brother and my animal and, uh, my related such as cousin and things like that. But my close family was my brother and my animals. Now I, um, I'm married, uh, we have a kid in, 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 in the way, and I have my, animal, my anim animals, my, my brother is around still, and also my dad. So I have my, my circle in my life is bigger, and I have time for everybody. So you also need time for your family, right? The other thing that you need time for is your health, which we're going to focus a little bit on that in a minute. Another thing that you need time for is going to be your finances. Your money, you need to work. You need to make that money. Another thing that you need time for, it's going to be your career you, and your hobbies, right? So now you know that you need to work on all that and you need to do things uh, to, to maintenance every single area that we just talked about. I bet you're already doing some of those things. So let's say you have a united family and you take care of your family and you're such a great mom and dad and husband or wife, whatever you are. So then you're doing a good job in that part, right? And let's say you're doing a good job with God. You have that connection with God. You don't feel empty anymore. And you're doing a good job in your career. But your health, it's down. And also your finances, even though you're good in your career, you owe a lot of money, you're down. And let's say, and your emotions, you don't know how to control your emotions, you're down as well. You get anger, anger um, very quick and things like that. You get very depressed and you don't know how to handle those things. So now that you have divided your life and you notice that you're good in one area, but you suck in other areas, you have to work on that. So this is what I learned that I was mentioning before. I learned that I have to choose three, B, three goals, three to four goals. I usually choose three goals that I need to accomplish in a whole year. So we mentioned that, for example, you were doing bad with your emotions, you were doing bad with your health, and you were doing bad with your finances. But you're doing good in the other areas. So you are practicing habits that are helping you to maintain the other areas. Don't stop practicing those habits. Continue practicing those habits. But now you have to set up three goals. Now these goals, they need to be specific. For example, let's say that you want to lose weight. You don't say, I want to lose weight. You set up how many pounds you're going to lose in a year. Let's say you want to lose 40 pounds. So that's your goal. I lost 40 pounds by the end of this year. Finances. Let's say you owe $40,000, okay? And you make, you have around $30,000, $25,000, or maybe the $40,000, you, you, you have that. If you start cutting your expenses, you can actually save the money and pay your debt. So you, you can write down, I'm out of debt. By the year, by the end of this year, or you can write down, 
I pay forty thousand dollars by the end of this year, or I'm gonna um I'm twenty five thousand dollars less in debt than by the end of this year. You got you got the idea. And with your emotions, you're you're writing you're writing down such as by the end of this year, I'm I know how to control my emotions and I know how to deal with depression and my anger. Okay. So now you have very specific goals about what you're going to achieve during the year. Now, let's go back to what I said in a minute. Continue practicing all those habits. They're helping you maintain the other areas of your life. But now you have to get rid of some habits. They're not going to help you with your goals. Now you have to check your day and see the time that you're wasting that is not helping you and your new goals. For example, let's say now you, you're, you're scrolling on the phone 20 minutes and you add up those and by the end of the year, the, the day, you have an hour, hour and a half that you're wasting. You watch TV you're, for two hours. That's more time that, 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 that you're wasting. Instead of sleeping six to eight hours, you're sleeping nine hours and you try to sleep until the last minute, wake up early. You're wasting time there. Let's say you try to do and manage everything in your house or your business and whatever, or at your job, but you can delegate a couple of things. So delegate it and get time. If it's not helping you achieve any of your goals, so then buy that time and get it back. But now you need to put that time into practice for your new habits. Now you have to be specific about selecting the things that you're going to be doing to get to the 40 pounds, to get to the 40,000, and to get to control your depression and to control your anger. Let's put as an example. Instead of, buy, instead of buying fast food, you're going to cook at home. You're going to take your lunch. You're going to start eating a, a vegan diet or maybe start eating more veggies or whatever it is that you have to start doing every day because you start, you already set up the goal for for a year, so you now you need to do things every day to get there. The same with your finances. Instead of spending money on on premium premium Amazon and waste your money there, save it. Instead of wasting your money on Netflix, that is only taking your money and your time, save it. You save time and you save money. Start getting rid of all, all those subscriptions that only take your money and they're not helping you progress. Remember, question. Where you're spending your money. If it's not helping with your with your weight loss, with your finances, and with your emotions, you wanna get rid of it. But you saving that instead of going out and buying useless things that only because you wanna go buy things because you don't have anything else to do, save that time, save the money. Now you have time to do your exercise. You have time to read and you saving your money. By the end of the year, every single penny that you're saving is going to add up for you to be debt free. Another thing that you can do now to control your emotions is read. You can start reading everything about controlling your emotions, how to control your thoughts, how to control your emotions. What are emotions? What we are emotional? What, how, what, how the thought process work? how the human being works, how the psychology of human beings being works, everything about that. And once you learn a lot of things about that, you can apply it to yourself. And once you apply it to yourself, now you can control your emotions and now you can control your anger. You can control your depression by the end of the year. So now you're progressing in life. If you notice with all those goals, you're progressing in your finances, you're progressing in your and your how to con and your emotions by controlling your emotions you can actually interact with people into an adult way because a lot of people they grow up but they're not adults they don't know how to control their thoughts and emotions they get very emotional and they just react when they're trying to interact with people and the people who are adults are the people who know how to control their emotions and their thoughts so not only you progressing in those th three areas, not only you losing weight and getting in shape because now you're eating healthy and you're probably spending some time exercising because 
that's going to help you to lose weight, but also you're progressing in your finances and also you're progressing in your emotions. You're taking care of your family, which you were, you were ready, what you were doing already. You still, you still have that connection with God that you were doing before and you're working on your profession where you were doing before. So you don't have to give up anything to continue to get in shape and to lose weight. You can do you can do it all, but make sure you divide your life to know the things that you need to work on. And once you divide your diet life and see the things that you're working on, you're gonna see the flaws and the holes that you need to fill up. And you're gonna see how you need to give up those bad habits. Then they're creeping up and they're not letting you progress. You continue progressing and you lose some weight if you apply what I just tell you. I told you that because once I apply that in my life, I'm in the different position right now. Now, like I, like I mentioned before, my heart my heart is full. No, this is not a superficial thing. I can tell you the reason is because I found my purpose and money or losing weight, being in shape doesn't mean anything. If you're not happy here, you need to be happy here. If you're happy here, everything else is, is extra. The money being fed, everything else is, is extra. Once you have your connection with God and you fall in here, you can help everybody, including your family. Now, the things that I, the, the, that I said, that I mentioned about me, that I, I was actually a, a loser, uh, it changed completely because right now, not only I'm living my purpose by helping people, but also I'm very happy where my life is with my family, thanks to what I learned and I apply and I work and I put that, that effort to keep my family together. Not only that, but also, uh, the connection with God, my meditations, my time alone, reading the Bible, uh, learning about God, reading about other people who knows more about God, and they teach me how the spiritual connection with with God works. But also with my money. Before I have no money, I was broke. Right now I'm in a good position. I I can tell you, I thank God I I don't have the need of it, but. I am very happy with with the work that I do because it gives me the passion more than the money that I make. So if if I hope you understand that you're on the same path that I am. Also with my hobbies, I, I like cars. I like and, and right now I have time to do that. I'm learning how to play the guitar that I put that goal t- uh, years ago to 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 actually I, I wasn't be able to do it, but finally I started to play the guitar, uh, it, which is fun to me. Uh, one other things in in my life, it my 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 fitness level. I'm in the best shape ever. I'm stronger than ever. I can tell you that I live heavier than ever. Um, so don't tell me it's not possible to work in all areas of your life when it is. And I'm still learning. I still. I'm still progressing in my business. And the reason is because I give my time to learn. I still put time aside to learn about how can I improve as a person? How can I improve as a business? How can I improve other people's life? So it is possible. Now think about this. You need to be patient, right? Nothing is going to happen overnight. I remember me picking three to four things a year, big goals that I need to work, what I wanted to buy, where I wanted to invest, to give me money, how I wanted my body to progress, how I wanted my health to progress, what kind of family I want to develop, what kind of person I want to be uh, in a year after, what I wanted to learn that by the end of that year. Every year I've been applying that, and my life has been improving because thanks to that that I've been applying that. It has been 12 years since I change and I apply that in my in my life. So think about that. Nothing happens overnight. It took me years to get there. But if you start applying this in your life, your life is going to change. You're going to progress. You're going to lose weight and you're going to be in shape. Thank you so much for continue following me. Please share this video. I hope you like the content. Share it with people who need this information. The more you share it, the more we can transform the world together, the more people we can help, right? So help me with that, and I'll be talking to you at the next video. Thank you for watching.
Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed the content offered here, then I know you will enjoy these books. These are great tools to lead you to successful weight loss, better health, and greater happiness. Thank you.